Holmes is an other feminist linguist. She says that women have, in her opinion, superior interaction style. So from the previous research, first that was conducted by Robin Lackoff and then by Tannen, we uh, have an impression that women's language show them powerless. They are weak. Men are superior. But Holmes opinion is quite opposite to those researchers. She says that, in my opinion, women have a superior interaction style because they have to perform the role of mother. And to perform this role, uh, the demand is to adopt a superior style, a caretaker style, a tending style, a very gentle style. So in her New Zealand study, Holmes finds that women are more attentive to face. Now, these are the features which make their interaction superior to men. For example, the first feature is that they take care of public self-image of every person, especially the addressee. They think that the addressee's public face shouldn't be hurt, shouldn't be injured by their talk. The person should not feel that the person addressing is imposing herself or himself to the person who is being addressed. So they are very mindful of public image of others. Similarly, they take care of politeness. Politeness, actually, this is awareness of that the person who addresses others should take care of public faces. And this awareness is called politeness. And politeness is realized in two ways. For example, if the addressee is stranger or senior, so the addressee expects that there should be social distance. So in that case, the women would adopt a social distance style of talk. They won't be using, for example, Hi, Nikki, hi, Biki like styles uh, in their talk. And uh, on the other hand, if the addressee is some intimate person, their close friend, so in that case, they would, uh, they would use such expressions which show closeness. So this is uh, the superior style quality which is possessed by women. And uh, another thing is that they never interrupt during talk. When they talk, they avoid interrupting the uh, talker. So Holmes thinks that women's language, instead of making them weak, makes them strong. It empowers them. And she metaphorically compares this style of talk with Noam Chomsky's ideal speaker hearer. Chomsky says that my model of language is for those persons who never commit errors when they use language. So their language is free of performance errors. So same is the case in opinion of Holmes with language of women. They keep their language, they make safe their language, they free their language from those features which can hurt addressee's face.